You want to see what's in the briefcase? Yeah. Ready? Ready? Yeah. What's up guys? My name is Mark and in this video I want to talk about vintage lenses for video. Now I'm also going to show you what's inside this briefcase. But that comes a little later. In both photography and videography, choosing what lens and what focal length you're going to shoot with is critical. The look and feel of a project can really be defined by the lenses. And there's just something about a vintage lens, having that look in camera that's unbeatable. It's magic for your sensor and your wallet. Well, I guess it's really just physics, but you get what I'm saying, right? There are some natural elements on a vintage SLR lens that make it perfect for video work. For example, the precise mechanical focusing system with a long focus throw and clearly marked distance measurements makes tracking a moving subject smooth and accurate. Now, character is really important, and I know that word gets thrown around a lot when dealing with vintage lenses, but depending on what you're trying to achieve, you can really exploit these unique characteristics in your narrative. And trust me when I say, every lens choice you see in a feature film is narratively motivated to some degree. Now, as good as these vintage lenses are for video, they can actually be made a bit better. With certain modifications, they can retain a lot of the functionality of a true cine lens, but one that won't cost you $7,000, an arm and a leg, plus your left kidney. This is a Simod lens, a vintage SLR lens that's been fully converted from their photographic selves into a fully functional cinema lens. Now I have two sets on loan, the Nikon Nikors and a Contax Carl Zeiss set. And I have to say they're spectacular. And I don't want to give them back. Possession is nine tenths of the law, right? Now the modding process on these lenses consists of five parts. A unified front ring, follow focus gear, declicked aperture, EF mount conversion, and slip-on caps. These five things all encapsulate a full mod, which transforms the functionality of a standard vintage photo lens into a real cine lens. Let me explain in greater detail what everything sort of does. Front rings allow your lenses to have the same front diameter. Now this is essential when using a matte box or applying filters to your lenses. You want all of your fronts to be the same size so you don't have to switch matte box adapters every time you change lenses. That takes time and time is money on set. And having the same size front filter thread also saves money by allowing you to carry one standard filter size. Now installing a follow focus gear to your lens is a crucial part of modding for video. It allows you to use a follow focus system, much like real cine lenses do. Manual focusing is still the practice used in feature films, commercials, and TV work. So much so that they have a dedicated focus puller or the first camera assistant in the camera crew. Now, even if you're not using a follow focus system, these follow focus gears make the ergonomics of manual focusing by hand much easier. There's nothing more cinematic than adjusting the aperture on your lens without hearing that dreaded photographic click, click, click sound. Now by declicking the aperture, it allows you to make smooth iris adjustments without the hard stops. You can also adjust for half stops. Now one can argue that this is pointless because you would never adjust an aperture in the middle of a take anyway, but it does happen and sometimes it's required. For example, when moving from an indoor scene to an outdoor scene on a Steadicam, like this scene from The Outlaw King, 
Moving from the lower light environment of the tent to the brighter outdoors has a smooth aperture shift mid-take. It's timed perfectly with the pan, but if you look carefully, you can see the exposure in the tent drop to almost nothing, allowing the much brighter exterior be properly exposed, all without cutting the camera. Gears similar to your focus system can be installed on your aperture ring to help with controlling your settings. Now I do love a nice smooth aperture transition. Mm. Now all these lenses have dedicated EF mounts installed, which makes them seamless when mounting to an EF mount camera. Now what's nice about these is that it fits better and more secure than an adapter, and it eliminates the middleman connection point between the lens and the camera body. The dedicated EF mount sits directly on the native camera mount. To install it, simply remove the native screws, put the EF mount on top, screw it down, and there you go. You now have a hard mounted EF lens. Yeah. Blue Jay. Now to top off a full mod is the custom slip on caps, which can be laser engraved with whatever you want to put on it. and they slip on tightly, so you never have to guess which lens is which again. Oh, and they make a really satisfying pop when you pull them off. Now what I love about this is modding vintage lenses for Cine is an affordable alternative to buying modern cine lenses. And the mods can be applied to pretty much any lens set you have. Now you can send them out to be modded or you can order the parts to mod them yourself. Now also something to note is everything is reversible. Front rings can be removed, the focus ring can be removed, D-click can be re-clicked, and the EF mount can be reversed, and your lens returned to its original condition. I'm seriously considering getting my Tacomars modded at this point. The added functionality of a full SIM mod would have a huge impact on my video work for sure. All right guys, well, that's it for this video. If you have any questions regarding the SIM modding process, leave them down below in the comments. I'm happy to respond. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Now, as for the briefcase, don't think I've forgotten about that. Well, I've got my lighter torch. And I've also got the lighter torch I'm giving away. Now, the winner of the lighter torch 2.0 is Holly Ferris of Florida, USA. I guarantee you're gonna love this little light. As for everyone else, thanks so much for entering. I'll have other giveaways I do here and there as time goes by as a thank you for your time and your loyalty. As always, I already said this, we'll see you guys next time. All right, that's it, I'm done. Was that good? I think so, I don't know. Was it good? I have to edit it. Once I edit it, I'll know if it's good or not. Do you wanna, do you wanna sit here and see, do a take for me? Do a take for me. What should I do? Ready? Yeah, so you helped me on my shoot today by yeah. climbing trees and I had to track you Yeah. with my lens. That was hard. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Peace. Peace.